impressive week of hockey here for the Toledo Walleye culminating today. And what you see is a team that comes out with a good start and then gets stronger as the game goes on. So a very good sign. I mean, all three games against Wheeling, you know, last night certainly today against Florida, just outstanding efforts. And as the, t the games go on, they're getting better and stronger. So that's got to be a good sign and a key. We talked about it yesterday too, Matt, conditioning. This team is conditioned to play 60 minutes. All right, let's take a look at the highlights one more time, Rob. And uh, as we go through them, uh, we saw early that great job inside the D zone. Dan Watson talked about it. Uh, he thought Toledo did an outstanding job today in the D zone against a very good offensive club. Good job in the D zone and then just good in transition. And right there, we saw that tic-tac-toe play, you know, that resulted in the Martin goal. And, and Jordan Pierce coming up sharp, even though the, you know, let one in. There's Terry Broadhurst's goal right there, going to the net, hard, hard working the player of the game there for Terry Broadhurst. Yep, and uh, this one looked like Toledo was gonna go in front, but uh, you gotta credit Muse. He had a great game as well. Could have easily been our player of the game if this game had gone the other way. I think there would have been uh, no doubts, but that one there put Toledo ahead to, to stay for good with uh, Max Campbell, and Toledo would finish it off with a 4-2 win. So, I mean, uh, what a way to finish out uh, this stretch here at home. Two more games before the holiday break down at Greenville, which is going to be another great test for this club. Well, without question, this team has momentum now to head south. I know it's not easy, as you said, Matt. Heading south sometimes is a challenge, but this team, as of right now, has got some really good momentum and can feel really good about themselves as they head down to Greenville. All right, Rob, great job as always. Next Toledo Walleye home game is after Christmas, December 28th. The Toledo Walleye will be back here at the Huntington Center, and they'll play host to division rival the Cincinnati Cyclones. You can get your tickets now at ToledoWalleye.com. Well, that's going to do it from here at the Huntington Center. For my broadcast partner, Rob Wersinski, and our entire crew, my name is Matt Melzack. Once again, your final score, the Toledo Walleye. Make it five in a row here at the Huntington Center with a 4-2 win over the Florida Everblades.